Bill Cosmo. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to another Pokemon Days, double uploads all December, yes, I keep my promises. Uh, this is my top 10 list of my favorite shiny Pokemon. Um, I'm basically doing it based on the entire family, so things like Charizard came quite close into the top 10, but didn't quite make it because Charmander and Charmeleon are ugly as fuck. But here are some honorable mentions. Um, I'm a little bit sick, so hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. Look at that lovely, lovely Glaceon. Glaceon was, uh, my number 11, if you're wondering. Uh, there's not really a particular order on this screen, though. So, screw it! Let's jump into it! Number 10. My pick for number 10 is Mr. King Louie himself, Snorlax. Yes, he looks so good with his lovely blue coloring. It fits a lot better, I believe. It looks more royal than his uh, original coloring, which is more like a purplish gray kind of thing. He also reminds me of Veruca Salt from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and maybe that's what they're referencing, but probably not. <laughs> it's just something fun I like to think about. So yeah, Snorlax definitely looks awesome with his, with his shiny coloring. Definitely worth the extra effort if you were to put it in. Surely one of my top 10 favorite shiny Pokemon. Number 9. Pink and blue are sort of themes for this list, as you might have noticed from the honorable mentions that I had listed. Uh, Sneasel is actually the only pink shiny to make it on this list, Sneasel and Weavile. I really like it because they have like a, a dark devious nature just like Crobat, so making it pink uh, conflicts really well. It's kind of silly, admittedly. Um, I've seen Weavile on a couple people's worst shiny Pokemon, but uh, I don't believe that. He still looks awesome even with his pink coloring. You shouldn't underestimate somebody who's that flamboyant. Because <laughs> they have nothing to hide. Number 8. My pick for number 8 is Mr. Reuniclus. He looks like a delicious glob of lime jello uh, in his original form, which is pretty cool, you know, but everybody knows that uh, grape and watermelon are the best. Bill Cosby want to give you a nice big cup of Reuniclus. There's always room for Reuniclus. <laughs> I think uh, he's sort of still greenish uh, in his first two evolutions, even as a shiny, but finally that, that final evolution really pulled it through for me. Uh, he is near the back of the list though, because I don't particularly love the first two forms of this shiny, but the third one really pulls it out for me, and uh, he makes it into the number 8 spot. Number 7. Number seven pick is Shuckle. Yes, it is just a color swap from red to blue. However, I think it's a bit more fitting. I like how the blue goes with the yellow more than how the red goes with the yellow. It's basically just an aesthetic choice, but that is primarily what this list is about. So I don't feel bad putting Shuckle in the number seven spot. Really, really an awesome Pokemon. And yeah, he looks even better with his shiny color. Definitely put the effort in if you're looking to wow somebody. If I see that chuckle come out, I will not want to kill it. I will let it toxic me to death. <laughs> number six. The number six slot goes to Mr. Braviary. Once again, it is basically just a palette swap between uh, the blue and the red. You can see it on his forehead and in his wings. Uh, but as one of my favorite Pokemon, Braviary had to make this list. Um, his palace swap definitely looks cooler. It's, again, just like Snorlax, a more regal look for him, and something that I really enjoy. Is there more red or blue in the American flag? I'm not sure. I think there's about an equal amount. Probably more red. But the blue definitely still looks better. So screw it. Awesome, Braviary. Number five. We enter the number five slot with an interesting choice. It is basically the opposite of the palette swaps I've been looking at before. Uh, 
I don't like purple Drapion. It looks like Barney the Dinosaur to me, and something that badass, a poison dark type, should definitely have a more threatening color, and red is it. Uh, Skaroopy looks cool, uh, either as a shiny or not, but Drapion definitely takes the cake in his shiny form. Uh, yeah, if you see that thing come out on the battlefield, definitely watch out. The shiny color might alert your opponent to its badassery. I think it's still worth it. Number four. The number four slot goes to Snowrunt slash Galele. Uh, basically, again, it's a palette swap. The blue eyes turn red. I think it's a really cool look. It looks like uh, the Galele is about to boil over. <laughs> You know, he's definitely a fierce fighter, so that's a fitting thing. And also, the uh, snow rut definitely looks a bit more frosty uh, in its in its pre-evolution form as a shiny. So, definitely an awesome Pokemon. I would suggest trying for the shiny just because of those awesome, awesome red eyes. Number three. We enter the top three slots with... Caracosta slash Tortuga. Uh, my reasoning behind this, it's not that much of a, a color swap, more of a, a shade adjustment, <laughs> is that Tortuga looks a lot more like he would belong in the shallow part of the ocean, and then Caracosta gets a deeper color. Presumably he can swim to deeper depths at a higher evolution, so I think it's really, really fitting rather than the, uh, the generic colors that they're originally stuck with. So definitely try for a uh, shiny Caracosta or Tortuga, and you will not regret it. Number two. Number two goes to the Metagross family. They go from uh, an awkward purple color that no metal I know of exists to like this awesome shiny, obviously heavy steel thing. And it is a steel psychic type, so it only makes sense. You know that uh, Charizard is not going to be number one since he was on the honorable mentions list. So I'll let you wonder for just a moment who it might be. It's not Metagross either. Who could it be? Let's find out. And number one. The boss himself. Number one. Mr. Zangoose. God damn. It's just a red to blue palette swap, but again. I really like that white and blue more than the red and blue. It uh, gives him sort of a, a lightning quick feel where, you know, he feels more furious with the red, but he's a fast Pokemon more than a strong Pokemon, so I think the blue is definitely more fitting for Mr. Zangoose. He's sort of a forgettable Pokemon, however, with with that kind of coloring, it's, it's the sort of thing that'll stay in your memory. He is quick, he is speedy, he is deadly. He is Zangoose, my number one pick. So friends, this has been my top 10 favorite shiny Pokemon, presented by Mr. Dayton Does. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you disagree with any of my picks, maybe you wanted to see Charizard and Umbreon in the top 10, tell me who you'd swap them out with. And uh, I definitely respond to all comments. If you would like uh, and or subscribe that would be quite a help as well help to get my channel out there I'm definitely trying to grow and uh, I thank the community for uh, sticking with me through all these these trials and tribulations and weird stuff that I've been trying to do with the channel uh, you've all been really supportive so thank you you are my favorite uh, 500 subscribers <laughs> I'm sure that number will grow but uh, for now dango guys take that to the bank <laughs> So I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you will join us for the next time, friends. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.